morning guys it is cold it's dark it's horrible and it's a tuesday my hair looks like edward's of the hands um just going into work this morning and i wanted to talk a little bit about um my food and stuff after christmas um because i know obviously everyone after christmas and the new year is like super 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 on it so the first week after christmas um i tried to track macros and then i kind of slowly came to the conclusion that unless i'm actually on a competition prep i'm not gonna track my macros um just purely because of lifestyle i'm a constant snacker my dad's a chef as well so he always makes stuff that's like pretty low calorie vegetable dishes that have like no oil um and they're in the fridge and i just snack on them basically Honestly, because i have tracked macros before um i'm aware of like what food groups are um and my education on nutrition is better than most another reason as to why i find it difficult to track macros is that um I cook a lot um, so I like being creative and experimental with my foods and a lot of the time I'm adding like 30 grams of an onion or like you know random just bits and bobs that are really hard to constantly put in like a tiny bit of this and a tiny bit of that it's just a lot of effort um, but obviously I know that it's carbs so I take into consideration everything in my head but when logging it into an app, it just can get a bit difficult. Yeah. Base this vlog on how I eat every day um, and daily. Um, so I've weighed myself at the beginning of like the Christmas craziness. Um, and I was 133 pounds. Sorry, not beginning, after Christmas. Um, and now I'm 130 so it's been a three pound drop just from more or less going back to what I was doing before not doing anything new literally doing exactly what I was doing before before Christmas um, so yeah it's not really like new new year new me it's kind of like new year same me and I stopped being such a pig normally every day I have like four complex uh, carbohydrates in my meals um, if I'm training legs or if I've had like a really crazy session then I'll put in five um, depending on my day obviously um, every meal has protein in it because um, I'm a protein lover so like egg whites um, whey chicken yogurt that type of thing although I wouldn't class yogurt as a as a source of protein because you'd have to have a lot of it to get that 30 grams of protein um, but I snack on a lot of vegetables um, I tend to give myself like two treats at least a day around like two or three servings of fat if I've chosen a protein bar as like one of my little treats um, and it's got a high fat I might take that into consideration as one of the fats but it is really not that regimented um, I'm really quite balanced and something that is easy to live by um, so I'm going to show you all my meals today which is just an average day um, and I hope that it helps some of you guys um, when it comes to kind of like trying to be a bit more balanced with your uh, eating approach Tyler my friend and client got me a huge bag of Reese's mini cups right so inside you'll be able to see there's a crap load of wrappers so who's been eating them me so I'll count like two of those as one of my naughty snacks um, or treats of the day um, so yeah today I'll be videoing my food um, and I hope it helps you guys
Booty games. 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 So I'm at work. I'm just about to train up a body. Um, and I bought in this meal, which is chicken stir fry. But I actually really, really, really don't fancy it. So um, I'm going to have the exact same meal that I had this morning, which was my oats. And because oats are as, is a slow releasing carbohydrate, it's better for me to have that than this. So I should have planned a bit better. But hey, that my clients gave me for Christmas. So I just keep it at work. This is my coffee mug. At work. Great. Just finished my session um, and holding this camera is actually hurting my arm. And I've got a stir fry in the microwave. The one that I was meant to have instead of the oats. So yeah, but I'm glad because I actually fancy it now. We've got broccoli in there, we've got stir fry mix, we've got rice, we've got chicken. So this would be like, I guess, one of my carb meals that I have. And there's like no fat in there. But I will always, always add a little bit of this. Or, to be honest with you, sometimes I don't even add that. Um, I'll add salt instead. Which isn't bad for you. Replenish because... If you're always training and active like me, you've probably lost some sodium anyway. Yeah, this is my omelette, basic. Three egg whites, one egg, and it's about eight o'clock and I'll most probably have another snack before I go to bed because I'm just a hungry girl. Um, but yeah, the main focus of today and kind of the weeks moving forward is that I am not eating crap every day. So post Christmas, Clean up. New year, same you, not new year, new you. It might seem a lot of food, um, but in comparison to every day um, overeating on Christmas, for example, one pizza and blanket is like 100 calories, so if you haven't fired, then it's 500 calories. So it might seem like a lot of food, but when you actually have more like proper whole foods, um, I said proper meals, um, then your total calories of the day are actually a lot lower than what you might think, even though they are actual full-on meals, if that makes sense. So um, yeah, but that's hence the reason why I probably dropped three pounds, is because I was eating atrociously after. Well, during Christmas.